Well, they, they were trying to push us definitely back in the ocean. And uh, uh, we, we fought, uh, we went in the 10th, and uh, I got wounded uh, a little afternoon on the 11th, and uh, uh, we were uh, to an airport. We was trying to take the airport. In fact, the matter is, I was talking to the captain before the tanks attacked us. They attacked us to the left. And if they'd have kept going, they would have missed us. But we fired at their flank, and when we fired at them, and uh, I think we hit one for sure, and maybe two uh, German tanks. But anyhow, they turned around and went back. Well, when they turned around and went back, then they regrouped, and they come right, exactly right straight at us. I don't, I would have no idea how many tanks there were. And, uh, but there was, there was, I would say at least 20. And uh, they come, the, the tanks just come right towards us. Well, this was an orchard that we was in, and we could not fire at them when they come back because of the trees in front of us. And so I had to take our half track, cut it down at the bottom of the hill, and we was firing direct, and they were, they were close. They was like uh, firing at us and other targets, uh, probably, uh, two football fields away or maybe closer. And at that time I got hit and uh, I was of course in a half track. And when I got hit, um, I jumped out of the half track. I don't know at this day why I did it, but I did it. And uh, so then I finally got back to the boat, uh, the ship, and that was like uh, uh, about dark when I finally got back. And uh, and I had to stop a couple times and get my second breath and and so forth before I got back uh, to this uh, ship. To, uh, I was done then. Well, I when I got hit, I got hit in the right arm and it hit right in the middle of my muscle and it uh, it cracked or chipped the bone. It didn't break it in half or anything. And uh, uh, then. Uh, and I was bleeding profusely, and and I, I tried not to be excited to pump my heart up more and pump more blood out. And so I, I walked up this little hill, and I got in a, a foxhole, and I got my second breath. And then when I I decided the tanks were still coming, and uh, and they would come a little ways and stop and fire. And uh, so when I went over the hill, then I heard to my uh, left, I heard this volley of four artillery shells and they were way to the left. And, and then the next volley of four was pretty close. And then the next volley of four, they were just traversing along that side of the, of the hill. I got caught right in the middle of it and, and I, I hadn't hit the ground yet. And that's when I got shot trapped on both legs. There was a jeep come along, and I, I'm not sure whether he was an officer or what, but I think he was a lieutenant or a captain, and he told me to hop in the jeep. He took me back what seemed to be like a half to three quarters of a mile, and then he told me to, to jump out, and uh, uh, he was going a different way, probably to headquarters, wherever it was at. I don't know where it was at. But then when I got off uh, of the Jeep, then I just, I walked back to the ship. And when I got back uh, to the ship, there was a lot of guys like I was, and they were taking them up the, uh, uh, on the uh, hoist, and they had a cot like, and they put me in that cot, and the cot lifted me up in the ship, and after they got all the wounded uh, that they could handle, they uh, went, took us back to Africa.